everybody. Welcome to Rogue Tech Pirate Lance. We're back here, um, and what we're planning on doing today is pulling off another raid against the Merrick facility here. We're just about to leave the system. It's two days to the end of the month. We're going to pull off this quick raid on this this uh, um, Merrick facility and grab whatever salvage we can and sell it. So um, one of the other things that we've learned that they might have here is heavy deck plating that can be used to repair the structural uh, integrity of the Argo. So that's one of the things that we're actually targeting to grab out of this facility. So um, our mechs have been dropped in and we're going to head up there right now. So yep. let's just move in. I have no idea what kind of resistance Got we're up it. against no here. Maybe a couple lances, maybe some turrets. I don't know. We'll see. Up, but this is our first trial with this particular board. lance. We've got um, four medium mechs now. A pair of trebuchets, Vindicator, and the Blackjack. Um, our uh, main pilot here, Jasper, he's our, in our scout mech. Doesn't move that fast, this trebuchet, but it is primarily set up for close range attack. So he's going to be our scout. So we're going to get him moving first. Looks like there, maybe there's just only turrets here to start. So we're going to move in, see if we can pick up any contacts. We've got turrets up here. Okay, good. So we're going to take care of these turrets, hopefully really fast. So we don't have eyes on yet. That's fine. Hopefully they don't have eyes on us either. Doesn't look like they have any sensor locks here. Uh, let's get Voodoo in. Three of our mechs, oh, here we go. Three of our mechs have got uh, long distance weapons. So we can take care of these guys. So hardened turret, 233. Now this mission is approximately two and a half skulls difficulty. I would say our lance is coming in at about um, one and a half skulls, so it's a little bit above our weight here. But we have to start punching above our weight. We knew that coming in, so we're going to move here. How good of our shot here? Pretty good. So we're going to move in. So most of our, well, three of our mechs here are set up with bo mostly long-range weapons. We've only got eight Gauss rifle uh, rounds, but we're going to use the Gauss rifle just to make sure we take this turret out. We need to minimize the amount of damage we take from these turrets. That turret is gone. It is gone. So it looks like we're probably going to have a Lance of Mechs after these guys. So let's take Payroll. She's mostly got energy weapons. We're going to move her to a position where we can target this next turret. Additional units that are in the area and may rally back to the ex base. Expect contacts. We have reports that the base may have gun emplacements. Really? Thanks, Darius. That's the kind of thing we need to know before we get here. All right, so we're going to unload on this turret. Okay, I'm on it. So this is a hardened shredder turret, once again, 233. Standing by. Uh, so let's move the PPC in. Can you get up this way? I think we've got enough LRM ammo that we can shoot for quite a while here. So we're just going to keep firing with the LRMs as well. 118, we should be able to almost take this down. There we go. Okay, good stuff. Two turrets gone. That'll save having to use Goss ammo. So, Animal, let's move you in over here. Got it. Let me get you on the flank a little bit. It looks like um, if I was going to be reinforcing this base, I'd be coming from here and here. Which, What's if you played plan? this mission before, you realize that's where they come from. So. Speed ahead. Okay, Jasper. You're up, buddy. So what I want to do now... This turret is going to be easy enough to kill. If they're coming in from here and here, we're going to make sure we fade back slightly to stay under cover. So we want to make sure this turret is gone so these guys that are coming in don't have supporting fire. So we're going to move Jasper up. And we're going to take on this turret right away. We've got uh, not quite enough to kill it, but enough to do some significant damage. And then I think Animal is actually pretty close, so let's walk him over. We're not going to use the Gauss Rifle, but we will use the Medium and the LRMs. Once again, we got a fair amount of ammo. Engaging. I know I probably could have gone with just the LRMs, but I want to make sure it dies. Okay, payroll, full energy weapons. We're going to move over slightly. Once again, everything on the turret. I think we should have enough to take it out with just these two. And this is a standard turret, so AC-20, we we'll have to make sure that's gone. Wow, where were you shooting that last medium laser, man? 
Ready for orders. There's some dust in there or something reflecting the beam, guy. Okay, so how much do we have left? 55. So I think we should be able to go with just these two. Firing. Yeah, there we go. Alright, turret's gone. That turret is gone. So we need to move in. What do you need? Secure the base. So we're going to do that. And then hopefully our dropship can come in and we can start unloading stuff here. Okay, we're going to stay behind the buildings. Just in case the enemy does show up, we're at least protected by building cover. We don't want them to be able to see us early on. That might be a little bit risky, but I don't know, we'll see. Got a bit of building cover. Yeah, they are coming in. Okay, so we don't want to bring our dropship just yet. We're going to reserve. We got, oh nice, we got a heavy mech coming in. Okay, so, let's get Jasper first. We're going to move you up here. I don't think they'll be able to see you here, but if they do, you're in the woods, get a little bit of protection. We want to make sure he's able to strike. Now, can we see, we don't really have good sensors enough to be able to tell what these mechs are yet. So we got which guy here? This guy coming in. Probably one of the mediums, most likely. So yes, I wish I could reserve again so we, we, don't, we wouldn't be striking them, but I think I'm probably going to have to move to a position where we can get some strikes on these guys. So let's move up. So this is a fire starter. Okay, interesting. I thought this was two mediums and a heavy, but let's fire on this guy. We'll see if we can get rid of him. Really low chances to hit, but you know what, we'll leave the gosh well... I don't know if that's a heavy mech, I'm not convinced that it is, but it might be, so let's just use these. Want to save the gauss rifle for the heavy mechs. So another mech moving in. Centurion? Okay. Got me with the tag, that's about it. You're destroying all our friggin' loot here, guys. Stop destroying the loot. Okay, let's get rid of this fire starter first. So we're going to click everything on here. Go right after it. We're going to leave the small laser off because we've got a very low chance to hit with that. Just save a little bit of heat. PPC connected. Nice. That's really all I care about is the PPC connecting. So I don't know if this guy is actually a heavy mech. He's actually moving pretty quick. Oh, what was that? Dragon? Looks like it might be a dragon. No, in a second here. Or Grand Dragon, maybe. Just a regular Dragon C. LRM-10. AC-2. Couple of medium lasers. We're not really that threatening, but we do have Dragon parts. If I remember correctly. So, we're going to try and use that as our main salvage target. So, once he gets a little closer, we're going to start targeting his legs and stuff. So, we're going to fire all our lasers. Couple hits. Not much. comes the fire starter, making sure he's going to keep himself unstable. Small, and that's it. Uh, minimal damage on that hit. Okay, Jasper, we're going to hang you, hang on with you for a second here. Let's go with payroll yep. first, and we're going to flank the um, fire starter. We're going to fire with everything. Getting those flamers going too. Oh! Nice! That one's gone. I don't know what we hit him in the head with, but sure as hell killed him. Hope it was the PPC. It's always more enjoyable if that happens. Ouch! Ouch! So he's got an ultra. That's gotta happen. That's gotta die. Uh, barely hit, Commander. Uh, 55's not a barely hit, buddy. Ultra 10. Okay, so, uh, animal. Let's get you back here. We're just going to walk over. I'm going to save a little bit of uh, uh, mischance. I'm going to fire with Gauss Rifle. Still low chances to hit. It's one of the things I'm worried about is missing with it, that, that Gauss Rifle. So uh, We're going to move you up and over here as well. Getting a bit more stability. Firing with... Let's leave the small off still. Still really low chances to hit. So I think if we can get some energy TTSs, that'll be nice. 
So we're going to reserve Jasper. I want to see what this guy does over here. He might pull out and fire on these guys. And then Jasper will be able to come around behind him. Now I don't think we're going to have time to claim much salvage off these guys. So I'm thinking probably it's going to be better just to murder them. And then grab this stuff out of the warehouses. So let's do that. Alright, we can't get behind him. But we can certainly get beside him in the trees here. I'll be there before you know. Which is what we'll do. And hopefully we can burrow through his side here. Going to fire with everything. Now we have the Artemis on on the uh, SRM-6s. It's giving us marginally better chances to hit. I think Jasper just needs to be a better targeter here. Alright, a few hits. Not quite what I expected, but okay. Okay, he's not firing the Ultra 10. Probably for heat reasons. Okay, so let's get Jasper going first. I want to see what we can actually do against this dragon here. We're going to come around behind him. Actually, you know what? If we got the Centurion in the back, maybe we want to take him out first. What are our chances to hit here? So Centurion, 28, 34 with the missiles. This guy is much better. So we're going to go against the dragon on his backside. Okay, make him a little worried. And so the Centurion is facing us directly on. Now the question is, they don't really have a ton of firepower though, so I'm not really that worried about them. So let's move the Blackjack over here. Gonna fire everything on this guy. Maybe we can take that arm with the AC-10 off. Nope. Okay. On with the Voodoo Curse, we're gonna back up over here. Mm, maybe not. Let's go with Animal. Let's see what we can do with Animal here. Yeah, we're going to walk it over, minimize our heat, lower our stability, firing with the Gauss Rifle. Hopefully we get a good shot on him. Nope. I don't have a lot of su Ooh, head hit. Nice. don't have a lot of success with Gauss Rifles. I'm not exactly sure why, whether it's just the weapon itself or what we got going on here. So let's... Uh, Vindicator's already taken damage, am I correct? Yeah, torsos have already been hit. So let's move back here, kind of turn sideways a little bit. Gonna go after this guy. Uh, PPC and LRMs. Actually, we're gonna. Yeah, we'll fire them both. Just thinking about just leaving the PPC off, but. Wanna get that lucky hit on him. Alright, let's see what this guy does. Alright. Crap. I took one in the meat. You did. Three or four. It's 15 days out, though. So it's not too bad. We're gonna be leaving this system right after this mission. Board? So it's not like it's that dangerous. So let's just walk over here. Yes, Commander. I want to have at least a little bit of evasion. And we've still got a better chance, I think, to hit the dragon. Yeah, marginally better. Um, we're going to leave off the small laser, though, and we'll fire everything else. Okay, lots of good hits. All right, see what they're doing here. Centurion moving forward. Ouch. Okay, we need to switch out here. Vindicator can't tank anymore. So let's, um... That's a dragon attack. This, he's up and behind a... Oh, I see what he's done. Okay, we're gonna move over here. Dragon's in point-blank range. Let's leave off... I don't think the flamers will matter. We'll leave those two off. Oh. Come on, man. You gotta hit with that PPC. <sighs> okay. Waiting for orders. Voodoo. Gonna back it up a little bit. Oh, shoot. Did I miss that? I think I missed that. Oh, okay, she's, she can still target this guy, though. So, firing both weapons. Nice. Let's see if we can knock him down now. Okay, animal. Let's back up. He's unstable. So, we're gonna do a... Uh, Offensive push on him, and we're going to shoot for his leg here. He's got 37 left, so let's target the leg, and we'll go with um, just the Gauss and the missiles, I think. Let's fire those off. All right, pilot incapacitated. Nice. So we might get some salvage off that, maybe not, I don't know. We can't salvage much. I think we've got, like, the ability to get maybe one or five, one to five pieces or something like that. Ow. 
Okay, payroll, you get first shot. You get first shot, girl. This guy's causing you pain. We're going to cause him a little bit of pain. And we'll go with the flamers, leave the PPC off because of the poor chance to hit. Eh, he's a little stressed. Okay, Jasper, oh this guy God. was your target. Let's move you over here. Yes, Commander. Sprinting it down, we're going to fire with the missiles. And I think leave one laser off. Get some stability going on this guy, or instability. Nah, not quite. Udu, just going to walk it back. Moving out. And we'll leave uh, the PPC off. Got it. Once again, looking for some stability damage on this guy. Ooh, head hit, nice. Panicking. Okay, animal. You. Let's just back up to here, make sure we're not where the dropship's going to be. Because that would be bad. No matter what other pilots tell you. Okay, let's see what he does here. Now, is he running, or is he just... Yeah. Okay, Jasper. Let's just move over here. Let's unload on him again. His armor is slowly going down. Another head hit. Okay, cool. So let's try this. Order? Voodoo, um, offensive push, this guy, head, fire. Nope. Okay, animal. Order. If we don't get him, we don't get him, but we're going to try it anyway. Headshot, offensive push. Panicking. Payroll. Let's just march it over here a little bit. On my way. And we'll target this guy again. Uh, let's go with the PPC. I want to end this battle really fast. Okay, is that a knockdown? Oh, nice. He's out. All right, our ship's inbound. There's our drop ship. Let's get out of here. Let's load up and get out of here, guys. Pilot lethal damage. Okay, we must have hit his head. Cool. Excellent. So we load up all the gear we can get out of here, get some plates, some hardened armor plates for the outside of our uh, Argo so we can at least finish up the, uh, the structure on it. Okay, so afterwards we were able to sell a lot of the salvage or the stuff that we took out of the warehouses for about 859000 which is awesome. So it's going to cover the next upgrade on the Argo, the cost to install, and it'll also cover our next month's um, financial report, which is amazing. So we really didn't take a lot of damage. The Vindicator did take some damage, but once again, we had maxed out the armor. So, I mean, it really only took half armor damage, which was great. The Blackjack did take a bit more in the one torso and a little bit to the head, but not much. We Overall, we did really, really well. No components damaged. Uh, I think the, la the lands performed pretty well against those the three mechs that we were up against. So we were able to grab a few things off the battlefield, a little bit of LRM ammo, nice ballistic targeting system, heat sink, and a couple parts, one from a fire starter and one from the Centurion. All right, so we've got a uh, we picked up a primitive fire starter. We were able to finish up the, enough pieces for one of these guys, which isn't bad. And we got twenty one thousand dollars in repairs, which or twenty one thousand sea bills in repairs, which really isn't that bad. Okay, so we have a financial report in one day. We're gonna bail out of this planet now. The reason why we're leaving, or one of the places that we're planning on going, if we go to navigation real quick here, we are planning on taking off and going into the Lothian League, which is. They're relatively, they're kind of like pirates out here. Um, there's a very small uh, population area here called Lothario. Climate is lunar. But we're going to jump here because they've got a former Star League presence. And from what I've heard, there's a lot of old um, spaceship parts that uh, have accumulated there that really are no use to a lot of the modern day um, jump ships and stuff around. So we're going to go there and see if we can either negotiate to grab some parts or perhaps just steal them ourselves. So that's where we're going to head off. But before we do that, we're going to go to engineering real quick and go to ship upgrades. Because now that we've got enough cash here to get a few things, we're going to increase our structure with those metal plates that we got and spend a bit of money to help uh, um, 
put that all together. So we're going to purchase that. It's 30 days to fix, but we need to get that done. We also need uh, to finish up the power systems at some point and these here so we can at least get the uh, KF drive once we have enough parts installed and so we can jump on our own. So we're going to go... I think that'll be it for today. We are going to... Uh, I think we'll just... Um, fly our way over there. Now, I don't think there's really anything we want to do to the max. If we do, it'll be once we arrive. Payroll's out of action for 14 days, and it's a 15-day journey, so by the time we get there, uh, everyone will be set and ready to go. And I'll do that between episodes, so when we come back in the next episode of Rogue Tech, we'll already be there, and we'll be ready to go. But until that time, we'll see you later.